Hey, love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time being on my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. Being able to know that we are all on these crazy situations, but knowing we are almost close to the end of this dramatic chapter is such a blessing to me it's such a blessing <laughs> so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gifts and how it impacted your life and headed you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And this peaceful music I'm listening to, I love Tibetan music. It's called Tibetan music, healing music, relaxation music, chakra relaxing music for stress relief, 2853C. And I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Um, Hayoka, Moon of Taurus, has sent, uh, was sent with big shifts that gives you answers uh to your prayers and it's so true because it's like you know today i was like when i was starting to um like i said with the other video you know we're all playing a part in this karmic cycle and it, it was just like all of a sudden all these things just start coming up start coming up you know and it, it's like yesterday i was really going through some things and you know i was just like okay boom i jumped up you know, I ask God, give me that sign. Universe, please give me that sign so I can motivate myself to do something positive instead of just sulking and, you know, being, you know, even be, having my own little pity party. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of going through that. You know, if I want to cry, I want to be tears, tears of joy, not tears of sorrow. You know, we all go through things and it takes us a while to be able to figure things out. But it was like yesterday, um, everything was kind of off you know kind of drained my back was hurting my head was hurting uh laid down for a minute you know things would just hit me left and right because i was purging and releasing a lot so you probably were purging and releasing a lot and i was looking after i did the video i was like wait a minute everything seemed off i'm really uppity hyper you know cracking jokes with my own self you know and i'm just hearing god and my dad like oh lord okay <laughs> it was like she on one today but i'd rather for her to be acting goofy than sit up here and be crying saying why me and i looked and it was like moon of taurus i'm a taurus and it's like on the 29th is going to be moon of gemini which my dad is moon of gemini so it's like really crazy we're a day apart and it's, it's just like i felt that big shift from yesterday you know me and my one of my soul sisters were talking and we're like something is off you know we're both me and her both had chills like i mean i had to put my space heater on because all of a sudden i just kept getting these chills back and forth back and forth back and forth you know getting little snippets of stuff like you know you probably get visions of certain things that you know you're playing a part to you're coming you know it's like sending you confirmation on certain things that's going on in your life and it's just like you needed that answer you've been praying for so many different things getting that sign you know asking to see if you're on that right path what am i not seeing all these things are occurring and it is just like a beautiful situation to a traumatic ending basically you know we've been going through things so long like i tell people you know you might feel like you're being punished you might feel like the world is against you but it's all how you have to sit back and look at it when you're in your emotions you're not going to be able to see it when you're stressed out you won't be able to see it it's like you have to give yourself that calm moment either you know take a walk in nature for a few minutes because things can come at you like from every direction it seems like you can't get a break you got an uppercut of drama coming up an uppercut of stress <laughs> you know uppercut of depression you know depression anxiety panic attacks you know or you got somebody acting like a jackass with you it's always something you know and it's just like 
you're being constantly tested. And I always tell people, you know, especially when we go on one-on-ones. And they tell me, Rosalind, I'm going through so much, you know. And it's just like, we will really get hard. And you have to understand, we had to be some Billy Badasses back in our day. Because it's like, God believes in us. He has faith in us. He already knows what trials and tribulations, what roads we're going to take, what decisions we make. All these different things that's going to come into play to be able to set us to where exactly where we need to be. So it's just like he puts us to those tests. And it might be the ones that are getting really hard. You know, and they that's when you know. And I always tell people, God, I said, remember this. I said, in the back of your mind, even when you're going through the toughest time, I got to remind myself of that too. You know, that God always puts his toughest soldiers to the, you know, to the craziest battles. He does because he already know you're going to make it. You know, it was one, I don't know if I said in my video yesterday, I was telling my, my, my soul sister that yesterday, it was like a, a confirmation of a mirror number that I was watching. And he said, God had that faith in you. That's why he placed you in so much turmoil because he already knew you were going to get out of it. It's just like when um my daughter, you know, my two daughters told me, mom, we're so proud of you. You know, <laughs> especially it was like in my daughter's graduation, all those different things happened in the play. I was dealing with my daughter's father, which was, you know, we we're on our little toxic relationship ending and stuff like that, which, you know, I had to separate myself from. Uh, his uh, his other children's mom, that was another one. Me and my daughter, my oldest daughter, one really, you know, we were bumping heads. Then I dealt with my mom's ex-husband and his wife all at one time. And that was a lot because it was bringing on every little thing that I had that has really made an impact in my life in a tragic way. You know, and I, I took that and took it by the reins and rolled that as soon as I said that my phone lit up. You know, it's like if God keeps giving the confirmation. It's like, yep, yep. You know, not to even really engage in it because I don't really want to bring up stuff because it's like I'm still I'm going right back at it again. But just to use it as an example, I got placed as that. You know, I got placed into that situation. And it was like my daughter not was not the only one graduating i had to go through that moment you know i could i kept telling myself i forgave them i forgave them i forgave them i'm not scared of them anymore you know um i'm gonna be able to get through this i have to let them know that they have no power over me anymore i allowed them to know hey i don't drink or smoke anymore you know you know i can be cordial with you i can be that better person i was because i already seen myself as being that better person you know i'm glad that they put me through these things because it allowed me to see what the hell I was capable of getting over. I mean, damn, you kept me from my family. You know, you know who my real mother is. You probably, you know, they probably did something to stop her from being in my life. And that's okay. You know, my, I never got a chance to see my father again. But it's like you, you can stop that that spiritual connection we have, which is such a blessing to me. Because even though my, my father has passed, we still have that connection, which is also a blessing. He has helped me through every trial I've had. You know, even when things were ugly, you know, my dad was always there. And I, I greatly appreciate that. You know, I pray for that every day. You know, I ask God and I tell God, thank you for even though we didn't have that connection, that physical connection again. I'm glad you never let my father, you know, leave my side of that spirituality because he's helped me, guide me towards everything that I've had occurred in my life. And which was a blessing. So it's just like this moon shift. It brought so many, I mean, everything that had me all discombobulated this morning. And I was just like, what the heck is going on? Why, you know, what is going on here? So it was just like going through the little issues today. And it was like something, you know, things test you. And you, it's just like when you wake up and say, you know, this is going to be a good day no matter what it is. You know, some people are like, Roslyn, I prayed to God and asked him for a, 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 a non-stressful day. And I end up having one. I see you can't do that. He, he can't promise you not have a stressful day. Anytime you, when you get up in the morning, you ask God or universe, whoever you pray to, allow you to be able to handle whatever is being thrown at you that day. Don't ask for a, a non-stressful day because they can't, you can't guarantee that. You really can't. You just have to be able to have that strength to be able to get through that day. You know, so it, it's just like people then were like, oh, okay, I understand what you're saying. Because I used to say that and I used to get mad at God for like, why I asked you for a non-stressful you know, stress, stressful day and I ended up having everything hit me back to back to back to back. Because you didn't ask the right questions. Because he's not going to do that. Because there's a lot of times, oh, this is one hair is like tickling my nose. But, you know, it's just that shift. I don't know if anybody else has appeared to have that because it's like, 
you know, um, is bring upon things that are coming to a close right now. It's like, if you, if you're a numbers person like me, like my dad is like starfish and coffee, you know, a person is like infatuated with numbers and I'm infatuated with numbers that, you know, everything that I need, I had a question for that was going on in my life. You know, they're telling me things are being revealed to you. You're going through emotional changes. You're going through ending chapters. You know, things are coming to, to, to face. You know, things are coming to an end of a cycle for you to be able to start a new cycle. All these different things are coming into play in your life. You know, you've been probably getting a whole lot of downloads. Headaches like crazy. Being discombobulated. You know, um, things... Uh, you, you know, it's like things on the tip of your tongue, like you feel like you got the answer to something, but you just can't get it out. You know, all these different things are occurring in your life right now. And it's just like all these different shifts, the retrograde, the spring equinox, the crescent moon, the strawberry moon, all these things are these big shifts had to come to play in your life for you to be able to get the answers to what you desperately need to get over this hump. And if you really just like sit down with yourself out of quietness like I'm listening to this music like this and it's really zenful it has me balanced it has me aligned I'm looking at all the things that I went through yes it's been a stressful couple of weeks <laughs> I can really say that it's been a stressful couple of weeks there's days that I sat here and I cried I wanted these days to be over with I wanted to be able to get this over with but there was something that I was not seeing within myself that I had to learn this cannot be over until I learn what is needs to be learning this lesson now when i'm looking at it you know i can't guarantee tomorrow's going to be a good day but i'm gonna try to, my best to be able to deal with it you know or the next day and the next day you know being able to see the blessings throughout the day because there's a lot of people didn't make it you know god rest her soul beth chapman from the dog bounty hunters she passed away out of having i think it was like throat cancer i love their show you know that was a bad that was a bad woman you know but she didn't go without a fight she lived every day like it was her last, even though she knew that, you know, all those different things that occurred, you know, and I was just like, I felt bad for Dwayne and his family and stuff like that, because I know what it feels like to lose somebody you love towards cancer. So all those different things that's going on, you know, I was really seeing for what it's worth, you know, being able to see that, you know, things happen for a reason. You know, you have to be able to learn what, you know, that lesson is supposed to teach you, being able to know that you have that power to get through whatever is being thrown at you if you give yourself that chance if you're so willing to throw up your hands obviously whatever you're trying to thrive for it wasn't that important to you because it's just the fact is god already has that faith in you about things that are coming on into your life the things that you needed to understand to you know hey this is what i got to do or you know these things are occurring you're, you're becoming more with your strength you're becoming more with your gifts you know things if more gifts are on on uh revealing to you you might feel like you know you get your you can be having hot hot flashes then you have cold flashes you know because the last you know this is the reason why y'all keep seeing me with this shirt on because it's like this is only one shirt i don't have packed you know it's one of my favorite shirts that you know when it gets too cold and i'm getting too hot you know i i can be able to pop this on so it's just like but going through these different things it will be able to uh answer your prayers and stuff like that sorry y'all keep on trying to get my cat she is like wanting to do what she wants to do but anyways going through all these things it, believe that it will answer your prayers you know if you are trying to get those answers or you need that sign this is that sign you probably been going through different things to where you know you feel like vertigo um all these um you know if you're having hot and cold flashes you know, having those uh, chills that's constantly coming from the crown chakra to the, you know, the third eye. All these th different things have occurred for the last few days. I know for me it does. I don't know if that's confirming anything for you. You know, you, you're probably like sweating like crazy and the next, you know, you're freezing cold. The next minute, it make you feel like you're going through a flu. So it's just like those shifts are bringing on different things in your body that's lighting up. That, you know, it's just like different cells just like popping open and because it's unveiling a lot of different things like i told you all the other day uh you know you're, you're starting to come off in layers you're starting to find out different things about yourself things are coming forth towards you either somebody can send you a text message that is probably confirming some something that you you know you were probably thinking you're manifesting things quickly i was talking to my soul sister about you know i wanted to go to new orleans 
because it's like that's where most of my family's from um, on my father's side you know uh from the you know what is the bayou um and it's like different things when i went there before i you know i got really emotional because i felt like my family was here this is where the roots of our family came from which is true they migrated off and went to minnesota but all those different things has happened and then i was talking about you know having remembering past lives of me being able to see uh uh marie laveau or dauphine lalarie you know all these different things next thing you know i was watching a youtube channel named snarl uh that does the an short short animations and the next thing you know, she started talking about Dolphine Lalaurie. So you're probably ma manifesting a lot of things. You probably talk about it and then something will occur. They'll kind of, you know, kind of, you know, go go hand in hand with something that you just mentioned. So a lot of things you're, you know, manifesting, knowing that if you can be able to do something really simple like that, you can really manifest a lot in your life. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Uh, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Um, let me uh, give a post notification shout out to, uh, let me see, uh, let me see, Deja Watley and Bree Tree, much love to you as well, and I will see you on my next video. Uh, thumbs up, share, and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And get out uh please send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really help somebody along the way and i'll see you on my next video much love peace